I'm here with Jeff Lemire and Michael Walsh uh, talking Black Hammer, Justice League, and talk about the whole series. This doesn't have to be issue one. Uh, how'd you guys come to, to get together to collaborate? You both have amazing records. I know you're both from Ontario. Yep. Uh, but how did uh, how did you make that, that connection? Yeah, well, actually, I, the first time I saw Michael's would, would have been on, when he was doing the X-Files, which, I don't know, how many years ago was that? Four or five years ago? I have, yeah, I think five. And so I, I became a big fan of his when he was drawing that, not knowing that he lived very close to me in Toronto at the time. And, uh, and then I think we probably just met up. I think we sat next to each other at the convention. Yeah, can in Toronto. Yeah. So it just, you know, we were kind of in each other's orbit. And when we were, you know, when this Justice League Black Hammer project came up, he was one of the first names we, we were hoped to try to get to do the book. Because okay. we just thought it would be a great fit for the book. But also I just knew that I, I liked him and I liked his work. It would nice. be fun to work with someone who was geographically close to me as well because we could walk up and collaborate a little closer. Sure. It was great. It's worked out great. Yeah, so, and, and it's a great fit for you. you uh, your art looks stellar in the, the first issue alone that I've seen. Oh, thank uh, you. Got it with me here. Yeah. Um, th you don't have to sign it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, so how, how is it like being able to explore into the Black, uh, the Black Hammer universe and tackle these characters? As well as uh, you know, some notable DC yeah, you know, I mean, it was, characters. It's great. I, I was already a fan of the series. I was reading it, and uh, you know, I am honored to be able to put my take on these characters to get to draw them my way, and you know, try and have a little bit of influence on the world that I was already such a huge fan of. Um, sure. I think it's a great, it's a great series. It's a great universe that Jeff's created, and he has so many amazing collaborators. Uh, it's just great to be a part of it. That's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. So, for those not in the know, we don't have to get the whole history of Black Hammer. We'll be here for a while, but um, tell the for for the unknowing, uh, how did Black Hammer Justice League come to come into a comic book together? Well, um, you know, I've been working at Marvel and DC writing superhero comics for a number of years. Um, but before that, when I was just doing indie comics, I had done, I had developed this idea of Black Hammer, which would sort of be like a really small, intimate superhero story, a character piece. Uh, and at the time, I never expected that I would ever work for Marvel or DC, so this is kind of my love letter to all these characters I loved growing up. Uh, and then, you know, fast forward to 10, 10 years later, I had been writing extensively for both companies, and, and then uh, <clears throat> I decided it would be great to... Uh, create my own superhero kind of universe or, or story where I just had complete freedom to build it myself from the ground up. So I, I went back to this old black camera idea and sort of, sort of repurposed it and re, re, thought, re you know, thought about it again for the first time and uh, fresh eyes and, and we developed this series black camera that we launched in 2014 or 16 or something. I don't remember now. Okay. It's kind of a blur. But, so we've been doing that for a couple of years and it kind of sort of slowly growing and developing its own fan base. And, and then I believe somebody at DC approached Dark Horse with possible oh. properties that they, you know, they could do these crossovers with. And one of the ones that was mentioned was Black Hammer and Justice League. And, and, and so they asked me, and it was a, a no-brainer because these were all like superhero comics I loved as a kid with the yeah. DC characters. So the chance to see my own creations interacting with these these iconic characters that I love and influenced me uh, was too good to pass on. Definitely, definitely. And. Uh, Michael, what do you find uh, as a, kind of the biggest challenge in not only you know taking his characters that you've known for you know and, and you know they've been fleshed out as well as the DC properties to uh, but then also put your 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 own signature touch to it and and uh, and give life to this series. I think one of the main challenges is how large and diverse the cast is in the book. A lot of the books that I've worked on in the past have been. Uh, single character books, not team books, um, and this is like a double team book, an entire universe book, really, so there's just so many characters, um, and I want to do each of them justice, you know, and, and understand the, the character as I'm drawing them justice. and do a great job with right. them. Yeah, um, yeah so that's, that's, that's been a challenge, but um, a good challenge, because I'm learning and I'm growing <laughs> as an artist as I go. Okay, and uh, to stay with you, uh, a little follow-up, in working in this new series, what do you enjoy most about working with Jeff? 
as as a collaborator on uh, this series. You know, what what really stands out that in, that impresses you, or that hey, man, you know, I wish other writers did this, and and Jeff Jeff nails it, or you know what? Um, I think that uh, because Jeff is also an artist as well as a writer, he has a really good grasp of. Um, how much he can fit on a page, and he also has a trust in the in the artist that he works with, or at least in me. I don't know if he trusts the other artists. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, not as much as you would. Be. Okay. <laughs> Is that the right answer? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the right answer. Yeah. But um, but yeah, uh, there's he's a great collaborator because I trust him, and I trust that he knows exactly what's going to work, and I think he has the same feeling about me, and we get to go back and forth on the pages, and you know. Um, when I get his seal of approval, I, I know that I did something great. Right, right. And, and I know you said, you know, we talked about proximity and, and how great he was and you guys talking and stuff, but in just looking at this one series and what's been produced so far, well, I mean, you guys are already, you know, a little further ahead than what's been published. Uh, what do you, what do you most enjoy that he's drawing out of this series and, and and bring into life or fruition for, yeah, well, it's, it's for your characters or, or for this. You sure, know. It's, I mean, it's all the things that I liked about his work originally, which is I love, uh, but it's not directed because his, his original work was in black and white, well, not black and white, but you didn't color your, your own stuff in the X-Files. Right, right yeah. Because his coloring on this is, is really impressive. It's like uh, very distinct. Um, I don't have the vocabulary to talk about color, I wish it did, but it's very unique. Uh, and I, I love his coloring, but aside from that, just his character work. I mean, that's what you really need a black camera is someone who can really do the, the emotion and the human interaction. Even though you, you have these bigger, larger, larger than life characters, they need to they need to feel like real people. And they need to feel like uh, you need to feel feel what they're feeling. And Michael like, excels in that for sure. Sure. And Black Hammer Justice League. Is it a five issue or a six issue? Five it's a five issue miniseries. And are you still doing cover work for through all the issues, or just yes. as um, far right? Yes, all five issues. The main cover is done by me, and then there's a cadre of amazing uh, variant artists as well. Sure, covers. I picked up. That's why I got the variant. Yeah, uh, next door. There's some gorgeous stuff. I can't wait for people to see them. Yeah. Will you be doing any variant I did work? The first, I did one for the first issue, and that's all I have done. Okay, <laughs> okay. Because uh, I know you've had other. You know, the original Black Hammer series, yeah. you had a lot of variants, and uh, that's awesome. Um, what's the last thing you guys want to kind of push out there for, get people excited about, you know, the rest of the upcoming issues in the series? Uh, well, I think one thing, I think some people presume that the Justice League characters that they've seen in the first issue will be the only DC characters appearing, and I can say that there will be some others coming up that you might not expect, so that's fun. So... Because Justice League has such a huge history and number of uh, it kind of touches on the players. whole DCU, so you can there's a lot wow. to draw from. So there's there's a couple surprises coming up that I was really cool. excited to write and to see Michael draw as well. So. Yeah, I think my favorite character to draw in the whole series is actually in issue two. So um, I'm excited for people to see some of those pages from the next issue. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and uh, look forward to. More coming from both of you with Black Hammer and Justice League. Awesome, thank Thanks. you. Thank you.